Pennies, nickels, and dimes. This is part two, 4.1b. You need to watch the video 4.1a first. If you haven't seen it, you can click on the description and there's a link for you. One cent is the smallest coin we use in the United States. A penny is worth one cent. A nickel is worth five cents. And a dime is worth 10 cents. And we talked about these in the last video. This is what a penny looks like close up. It's one cent. This is what a nickel looks like close up. It's five cents. And this is what a dime looks like close up. And that's 10 cents. We learned about counting on in video 1.4, and there's a link for that video in this description also. And we can count on to find the total amount. Here we have a dime, a nickel, and three pennies. That's worth 10 cents, that's worth 5 cents, and that's 1 cent, 1 cent, and 1 cent. So we can find the total by counting on. We start with the 10 right here, and we add the 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So now we're at 15 cents. We add 1, now we're at 16. We add another 1, now we're at 17. We add another 1, now we're at 18 cents, and that's our total. We found it by counting on. Let's try this one. Here we have a dime, a dime, and a dime. That's 10 and 10 and 10. We can find the total by counting on. We can also skip count by tens. 10, 20, 30. That's 30 cents. Here we have six coins. We have a nickel and a nickel and a nickel and a nickel. That's four nickels. We have two pennies. That's five cents and five cents and five cents and five cents and one cent and one cent. And we can find the total by counting on. We start with the five. We can count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20. Now we add one penny, so that's 21 cents. We add another penny, that's 22 cents. Let's try one more. Now we've got seven coins. We've got a dime, that's 10, and we've got one, two, three nickels, and they're each five, and we have three pennies that are each one. And we can count and find the total by counting on, and we start with the 10. 10, and five more, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and five more, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now we're at 20. We add five more. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Now we're at 25. We add one. We're at 26. We add one. We're at 27. We add one. We're at 28. And these seven coins equal 28 cents. Now you can practice counting handfuls of pennies, nickels, and dimes. Just grab a different amount of coins each time and count on. And you can put the coins back and grab a different handful and try counting those by counting on, okay? Let's do some problem solving. Do you remember in video 3.9 we talked about guess and check? Well, we can use guess and check or we can draw pictures to help us solve a word problem. We need to make sure we answer what it is asking. So, Here's our first one. We have three coins that total 12 cents. How many of each coin do we have? So we can guess and check, or we can draw a picture to help us. We have three coins, and they equal 12 cents. So what we can do, if we're going to draw the picture, is just write three circles. And it's got to equal 12 cents, right? So we can start by doing this. And then we can put different amounts inside to find the 12 cents. And we guess and check. We can try a 10, a 5, and a 1. Well, that equals 16. 
That's too big. So let's try a different one. We'll try a 5 and a 5 and a 1. Well, that's 11 cents, and that's too small. We need 12 cents. So we try a 10, a 1, and a 1, and that is 12 cents. So we found three coins that equals 12 cents. How many dimes did we use? One. How many nickels did we use? None. We have zero. How many pennies? One, two. All right, let's try it again. We have four coins that total 26 cents. How many of each coin do we have? So how many dimes, how many nickels, and how many pennies? Now it says four coins, so we make four circles. And it has to equal 26 cents. So we can try a 10 and a 10 and a 1 and a 1. Well, that's 10, 20, 21, 22. That's not big enough. That's only 22 cents. We need 26 cents. We try a 10 and a 10 and a 5 and a 1. That's four coins. That's 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and one more is 26. That works. So how many dimes did we use? We used two. How many nickels did we use? One. How many pennies did we use? One. So two dimes, one nickel, and one penny equals 26 cents. And we found four coins that equals 26 cents. So we answered what it was asking of us. Let's try one last one. We have five coins that total 31 cents. How many of each coin do we have? So we have five coins, so we can draw five circles. It's got to equal 31 cents. So let's try a 10, a 10, a 10. Well, the 1 and the 1 makes a 2, so it's going to end in a 2, isn't it? And that's 10, 20, 30, 31, 32. That's too big. We only need 31. So let's make this 10 smaller and make it a 5. That's 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. That's too small. We need 31. Let's make this one a 5. We'll guess and check and try that. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Now we're at 25. We had five more. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and one more is 31. So we found it. And how many dimes did we use? We used two. How many nickels did we use? We used two. How many pennies did we use? We used one. Okay, so now you can do this. You need to practice counting the coins, all right? And you can count on, and if you're using paper and pencil, then you can draw a picture to help you, and you can try guess and check. But when you're counting the handful of coins, just count on, okay? All right. We're going to continue on in this chapter talking all about money, and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye.